Last week on RV America, we shared with you all the things you need to know to have a safe and fun visit to Glacier National Park. This week, the video just gets more exciting. In this week's video, we're exploring the part of Glacier National Park called Two Medicine. Yep, there are five major sections in Glacier National Park and Two Medicines is the least visited and the mm -hmm. smallest section, right. but it has some great views. It has a lot of hiking trails too. Yeah. We are going to show you our top five hiking trails, starting off with number five and working our way up to number one. So be sure you stay to the end so you don't miss the favorite trail in Two Medicine. One of the things that's suggested is rent a boat and get out here on this lake. But we realize that there's only four boats and they have them till about six o'clock or they have them for half a day. So sometimes it's hard to get a boat. So you might want to make your reservations. But another tip was given to us. If you can't rent a boat, you can walk around the lake. It's about a four mile hike. So it's something that you can uh, check out some of this beautiful scenery. Now I know what it means to grow. Oh, yeah, now I know the time I've got it is just enough to get by. Yeah, it is just enough to get by. So I don't exactly understand what all the dead trees are, are that, you know, they're, they're laying everywhere in here and they're laying down. I know another section that we went through, they said that the dead trees were because of fires, but this just doesn't look exactly like a fire. So I'm not sure. Let me know if you know. Well, we've determined there's another kind of spray you need besides bear spray. Mosquito spray. The mosquitoes are really bad up here. Uh, carry it with you in your backpack. Keep it with you and don't let them eat you alive. Because they might just want to pick you up and carry you off somewhere. Danny, I found a natural chair in the woods. <laughs> it's a tree that's in the shape of a chair. To feel this way. So I will say this is the smallest waterfall that we have hiked to as of yet in Glacier. Um, as you can see, it's up there. So you're a really good distance from it. Not only that, there are trees blocking it. And another few years when those trees get a little bit bigger, you're not even going to be able to see it from the trail. I would walk a thousand miles.
good. <laughs> so we were walking down the path, and Debbie all of a sudden starts screaming. How'd it go, Debbie? Ah! <laughs> and and Hoppy. It was, it was a little bitty baby squirrel that went across the path. It was this big. It was not. It was a baby it squirrel. Stared at me. And she acted like she was going to get killed by it. <laughs> Get your bug spray because you're really going to need that bug spray and your water. And don't get the bug spray and the water mixed up because that will not go well. One of the things you want to do while you're hiking in Glacier is watch for huckleberries. I found some. Look right here. You want them to be this dark purple right here before you pick them. They kind of look like blueberries, but they're not. And they are so good. But make sure you know what you're eating before you eat it. You don't want to eat the, red, the wrong berry. They're very good. I thought they were mine. Not yours. It's mine. I picked it. I ate it. So we're on our way back from Astor Falls. It's a nice little hike. It's two point what? Two point six. Two point six miles. Round trip. Uh, round trip. It's not very hard. There's a little uphill, but not too much. And you're just really going to enjoy it. It's like Now also, just so that you know, Tube Medicine is a section of the park that requires a pass to get into. The Tube Medicine passes are one day pass and they're not really hard to get because it's the least visited section of the park. If you missed last week's video, Danny will link it down here somewhere. We're gonna tell you how to get into the park even if you don't have a pass. So today we're at the Tube Medicine section of Glacier National Park and the first trail that we're doing is the Running Eagles Trail. Running Eagles Fall. Running Eagles Fall Trail. Or Falls. Falls. Running Eagles Falls and it is actually paved. It is wheelchair accessible. Um, so this first trail is going to be super easy. Seven tenths of a mile. Seven tenths of a mile round trip. Something so, to warm up on. Yeah, we're just getting warmed up on this trail. I'm alone. I'm alone. Leave me stranded. I know how to handle it on my own. So this is the very first waterfall that I've ever seen where the water is coming from inside the rocks and not over the top. So let me know if you've seen one like this. I know there has to be more. This ha can't be all that unusual, but it's the first one I've ever come upon. I have learned that no one else can carry this load. So the falls were named after Running Eagle, who was the first female warrior of the Blackfeet. She led many successful uh, war and hunting parties. Pretty neat. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, now's a great time to do it. And the notification bell. That way you can join us next week as we explore more of Glacier National Park and all the beauty there is to see there. We've got a lot more to show you and share with you. Glacier National Park is, has become our favorite park, and there's yes. so many great things to show you. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.